Bonjour, welcome to Max's Cognac Review. Thanks for joining me. Today I have Martel Cordon Bleu or Cordon Bleu. It is, I guess you could say, an XO grade cognac, technically speaking, but some would say it's a little step above. Uh, Cordon Bleu is probably considered to be the staple of uh, most cognac connoisseurs. This is probably a bottle that you must try or must have in your collection if you really enjoy cognac. It is predominantly Borderies region, Eau de Vie, so it definitely has uh, very floral, very intense flavors that you wouldn't find in uh, you know big blends of various different Eau de Vies. It is very, very um, soft from what I remember. I did have this at a tasting um, about six months ago at a cognac tasting. I had this and the gentleman who was from France who poured it from me uh, for me mentioned that everybody at that tasting, all the pourers, all the connoisseurs, they all had a bottle of this in their cupboard. So uh, again, this is a staple for cognac lovers and it's a privilege to be trying it today. I'm gonna give it a try. It's a really fancy bottle. Let's see if I look there. I kind of feel bad opening it. And although it does not come in a wood box or anything like that, I have to say the presentation is really nice with the wrapping and the box itself. Give it a pour. So, I don't typically do this, but I'll go ahead and read the back here. It says, it's blended, dominated by the floral eau de vie of Borderies growth area, captures the very spirit of the House of Martel. In its bottle, Inspired by the original design, this is a unique cognac noted for its elegant complexity and exceptional well-rounded taste. So without further ado, I'll give it a try. A very rich nose, a lot of butter, a lot of rancho, which is hard to describe, but kind of a nutty oily richness that comes after an extended period of aging in oak barrels. Cognac, unlike wine, doesn't age, at least not very much, once it's bottled. So all the aging done for any cognac is in the barrel. And the same thing with scotch, of course, but when you have a, uh, an exo cognac like this, for example, it can be aged anywhere from 10 to 20 years and anywhere in between. I'm getting blueberries. A lot of light floral notes, as stated. Um, it's, it's funny because it's kind of a dark dried fruit note, but a lot of kind of fresh uh, light fruit as well. Not citrus, but a lot of fresh nuts, fresh plum. I'm gonna give it a taste.
This is probably the perfect cognac. It has the perfect amount of intensity when you when it first hits your lips. I wouldn't say there's any alcohol. It's not spicy, but it definitely takes hold, and the flavors, although uh, not too pronounced or not obnoxious, just gradually fill your senses. And I feel like from head to toe, you're literally swimming in, in jasmine and rose petals. And um, for a second, it's hard to even believe that it's a cognac that make, that's making you feel this way. Definitely jasmine, honeysuckle, light honey, potpourri, very flowery. Um, it's amazing for how well-rounded, how smooth this cognac is to still have that much flavor. Again, it's for me the perfect balance of, of intensity, but, but smooth and delicateness as well. It's hard to have a, a robust, intense cognac that isn't too spicy or too overwhelming. And at the same time, it's a little boring to have a cognac that you can barely taste. And although it's smooth, doesn't have a, a long lasting impression. Uh, for me, this is the perfect balance. Again, blueberries dried apricot, fresh plums, incredible bouquet of floral notes, of, of dried rose petals, potpourri notes, and, and a nice candied finish. I would say that this is probably a great dessert cognac. I think it would grow, go really well with uh, any kind of uh, after dinner sweet or dessert but um, I mean there's probably never a bad time to have a glass of this I'm going to give it a rating for me it's 100 out of 100 and I certainly recommend giving it a try until next time cheers it's only one thing I'm sipping crystal like some cognac gin you taste so good to me baby let me call this fifth of honey all over your body Thank you.